Hi there guys and welcome back to the third and final part of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as a part of my Flashback Friday series. So we will continue from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get into it. Alrighty then. Oh no, I don't want that. What? What? Oh no, so yeah, it's, it's back here isn't it? Back this way. Back round the other way of Hagrid's hut. There's a monster up here isn't there that Neville said about, so let's uh, save it in case I die, of course. This is the gargoyle gate. Okay, so this is where we need to be. Fire seeds is what I need. Okay. What? Don't you do that to me. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now I bet the second one's going to come to life, isn't he? Wingardium Leviosa. I see. Get your ass back up there. Boom, 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 boom. So I've got to go through there. Is there any other, any other doors? Eh, uh, no. Oh, okay. Lava. It's a good sign. We're on the right track at least, you know. But Hagrid's letting an 11 year old go unattended to potentially kill himself in a load of lava. You know how it is, standard Hogwarts stuff, you know. Oh, wait. I've got to shoot him. If I shoot him, I mean, you know, flippendo him. Come on in. Yes. All right. And we're up. So where's my little, my little pudger? Where is he? Come on in. I'll tell you what we're going to do first, is we're going to get you to come this way. Come on! Um. Oh, okay. Are we actually needing to go up here? Ah, yes. And to use this lever. There we have it. Come in, big boy. I've got to make you a big boy by eating these plants. There we go. Okay, so this must be the fire plant. Hagrid better bloody appreciate this, I swear to God. Look at all that lava. And there's the fire seeds that we need. Oh shit, they, they fall down. Oi! Shit! Jump up, Harry! Oh, crap, 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 crap. Jesus. Apparently though, Hogwarts or like wizard shoes are, are literally lava resistant. So I, I think that's I think that's a win really. You know, they make you go around all these places where you could uh, potentially hurt yourself and uh, they repay you by giving you fire retardant shoes. Incendio! Oh, so I've got to burn this thing now. Nope. <laughs> it's going well. Alright, we'll try again. We'll try again. <laughs> hey! 
There we go, that's what we needed. Let's pick up these fire seeds. And then we've got to get back. Oh. Yeah, I might have retrieved the fire seeds, but now... Hagrid better bloody appreciate this man. Like, all this effort that I'm going through. Well done, Harry. You've found the fire seeds. Now I can yeah, show you right. what I need them for. But it's our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. What's this big secret? I bet it's Norbert, isn't it? Well, Norbert the, home, the dragon. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Ah, oh, it's quite cute, really, isn't it? Bit blocky, obviously, but it's kind of cute. Up you come, my beauty. He's got a framed picture of Dumbledore. Hey, lovely. <laughs> I call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch Through the Ages. Oh, cheers, Hagrid. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, obviously. Hmm. We'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. I'll oh, see you later, Harry. Thanks again. What's he going to eat, though? Because, you know, he's a dragon. You can't allow him to eat people. You'll never guess what I've found. What have you found, Ron? You've always found something. Usually something to get me in trouble. Hang on, where did Ron go? Did he go through here? He must have gone through here. Quidditch pitch. This is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch. But first years like us aren't allowed to play. I hear they make exceptions sometimes though. But only if you are very, very good. Here well, comes Neville. He I hate to break upset. it to you, Ron, but I am Let's very, go very good wants. at Quidditch. Malfoy stole my remember all. Of course he did. He ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. Please help me. Come on, I'll show you where he went. Uh, uh. I didn't actually want to leave the Quidditch pitch just there. I wanted to have a quick look around, if you didn't mind. So Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remember all. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. And you better watch out for my bludgers. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what I thought. Two more, I reckon I gotcha. Oh, one more. Okay. Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. Oh. Pretty impressive, Harry. Nice one. Don't you laugh at me. I remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Oh, good. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. You'd best go then, Neville. Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Well, Ordinarily, thank you very much. First year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Hufflepuff is about to start. Well, nice. Wow. Oh Christ the might I've got to just do it Quidditch all the time. And as a seeker too. I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. 
Cheers, bro. Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut to give you a big congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first. I just know it. Don't even get enough. Don't even get a choice. Got to play. Welcome to Quidditch! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Well, I hope Two they don't. Of each team try to keep them away. Good. Good. new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Nice. Well, then that's Here what we shall Potter. do. Oh. I mean, wasn't Slytherin the first game of the uh, of the Quidditch a season? Of gold. Is that the snitch? It Have is. You seen the snitch? Yeah! Why has he done a backflip like that? The no, there's no need for it, Harry. Come on, Harry Potter. Oh, I've been smacked by the by the, the shit. shit. It's so hard, like the t the TV just doesn't register the uh, the colours as well as what it, it used to, or it used to on a CRT. Come on, got it first time. Boom. Well done, Harry. There shouldn't be students in there other than the commentator. Dear Lord, it's so square. <laughs> well now, if it isn't the notorious Mr. Potter. Remember my name, it's Professor Snape. And I know all about you, boy. Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. I'll just confiscate that, thank you. That's a bit harsh. That's mine. Hagrid gave me that. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. Is that right? It's a piece of a map. Hold on. This is Fred and George's handiwork. The map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. Who knows? The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora. Wow, look. I've opened that rusty door. Come on. <laughs> Let's see where it leads. So that's it for episode three of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me or you want to see a specific game uh, included in this uh, series, then please let me know in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more uh, Flashback Fridays, then please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.